Wish to manage alerts and notifications in Dynamics 365? We have a solution just for you. Alerts for Dynamics. Schedule and track alerts and notifications for your Dynamics 365 users in a smart way. When you have a notification for an alert in your CRM created with alerts for Dynamics, you will see a notification icon here. If it is showing red symbol means there is a new notification. So let's check what is that notification. When a user clicks on notifications button, the notification screen pops up with all notifications for that user. As we can see, the unread notifications are highlighted and once the notifications are read, the highlight fades. Further, I can segregate alerts to different types like, critical, warning and information. Managers can create announcement-based, record-based and rule-based alert as per their requirement. We will see it in details afterwards. You can dismiss the alert by clicking on cancel sign also you can use dismiss all icon at the bottom. It can be easily tracked by the managers whether the alerts have been read or dismissed by the user and take necessary action. User can also see an alert when he opens a record as a pop-up window and also as a form notification. Let's see all these alerts in detail. Let's see how to create all these alerts. Suppose being a sales manager I want to notify all my sales team that the sales meeting will be held on 10th August and everyone's presence is important. So here I will create an alert as an announcement. And set information as the alert level. As I need to inform sales team that we will have annual sales meeting on 10th August. I can just create a quick alert for this announcement. Let's go to alert entity. Here you can see a new button on the top. Click on that to create a new alert. As you can see we need to add alert name and select alert type. Here I will select announcement. Once you click on the save button new window will pop up which will ask you to add new message that is what message you want to show on this alert. Here let me add alert name. Then I need to specify the message which I want to show to the user. In alert level you need to specify whether it is information, warning or critical alert. Here you need to mention if you want to show alert as form notification or pop-up or email notification. Next you need to give start date that from which date you need to show this alert end date till how long you want to run notification creation process and display end date that is till when the notification should display to the users next in language section it will take the default language in include users if you include any users the alert will be shown to those users only if you exclude any users the alerts will not be shown to those users if you want to specify security role like sales manager Salesperson to whom you want to show alert that you can specify here. In the from section you need to add from which account the email will be sent. After filling all this click on save and activate the alert. Once you activate the alert the new alert will be created. This way you can create an announcement based alert and notify your team with specific announcement. Let me log into excluded user account Peter Pan and check whether he is able to see announcement alert we created just now. As we can see here, Peter is able to view all other alerts but not the one in which I excluded him. Let me switch back to the Sam account again. Now let's see how to create rule based alert. For this I have set a condition as I want to create alert to disqualify accounts whose invoices were due last month. Let's see how to create a rule based alert. Here I have already created rule based alert for this. Here you need to give name of an alert. Then specify the alert type as we are creating a rule based alert I have selected rule based alert here. Next you need to give on which entity you need to create the alert. Here I have created an alert on account entity. Further in run mode you need to select simple or advance. If you select simple as run mode you just need to give view on which you want to create an alert. If you select advance as a run mode you need to give condition in fetch xml. In my case condition is I need to deactivate accounts whose invoices were due last month. Next you need to set poll interval whether you want to do it once or x hours or x days or x months. 
If I am setting poll interval as x days and interval as 1 then on every day it will check if any account meets this condition and if it meets the condition it will be added and shown in the notifications. Once we click on save it will ask to add a message. Let's see the already created message in this case. All the other details are similar to what we have seen for announcement based alert. Next to general tab we have notification tab. In notification tab we can check whether the use has read or dismissed the notification. So this is how we can create a rule based alert depending on the requirement. Further, suppose there is something my team needs to know before interacting with a particular account. Suppose for this record I want my sales representative to know that this account's office remains closed on last Friday of month so there should be no follow up on that day. What I can do is, I can show notification to user every time he accesses that record using record based alert. Let me open a record on which I want to create an alert. When I open this record it will show me pop up notification and also you can see form notification the same record. Let me demonstrate how this was done. To create an alert you need to go to related section and click on alert. In this case I have already created an alert. As this is record based alert by default alert type will be set as record based alert. In the message section you need to give which message you want to display. Here as I want to notify my sales team that office remains closed on last Friday of every month I will add this message. Rest of the fields are same as I discussed in earlier two alerts. In this way the user can set the alerts for particular record. You can do all this and more with alerts for dynamics allowing users to do right things at right time, let's see how to configure it. In order to create alerts for a particular entity, entity configuration for that entity needs to be enabled. To enable entity configuration navigate to alerts for dynamics app license registration, and enable entity configuration. Users can select the entities from the list of available entities and move them to the list selected entities and save. To view the entity configurations go to alerts for Dynamics app, entity configurations where all the enabled entity configurations can be viewed. This way you are all set to use alerts for Dynamics app. Wish to give a try? Download the free trial from Microsoft App Source or visit our website www.inorgic.com.